In this calisthenics workout, I'm gonna be working towards a planche and a front lever doing straight arm scapular strength movements. So I'll start with a little bit of a rotator cuff warm up. So this exercise is to basically to switch on my rotator cuff and uh, get the shoulders ready for some challenging exercise. This is a, a pretty tough movement. This isn't for beginners, this one. There's some easier stuff you can do but I'm trying to keep my um, forearms and wrists in a vertical line and trying to keep my shoulder blades depressed. Yeah, yeah, that's about enough. And then I'll just do a few shoulder circles, a couple of wrist warm ups, and then I'll do a warm up set. So for a warm up set, I always just do a, a deloaded version of the exercise that I'm actually gonna be doing. So in this case, I'm going to do a scapular push-up and I'm using these parallettes because I learned some new stuff about golfer's elbow from my physical therapist friend last week on our um, live show. And he was talking to me about how uh, a part of golfer's elbow is reducing the compression on the tendons. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a sec. So, when you put your hands on the ground like this, it compresses the tendons over the bones down here by stretching them out. So any way that you can reduce that, assist with uh, the rehab in golfer's elbow. And that's something that I just, I can't shake that last sort of one out of 10 pain. Um, and I need to, to be able to start doing one arm pull up work. So I'll try this for a little while. Yeah, so I'll try um, just reducing that load on the um, tendons as much as I can. I'll, I'll use parallettes whenever I can for exercises where my hands would otherwise be on the floor and stretching those tendons out. So this is just my warm up for the tuck lever. And now I'll get into it. Okay, now for my first set. Timer on. That does actually feel interestingly very different on the golfer's elbow. So using parallettes, I didn't know that this could actually affect golfer's elbow until recently. Luckily, we've got Phil White, our resident physiotherapist, to do our podcast with. So. I just asked him some questions because I've dealt with golfer's elbow in the past and got rid of it completely. Didn't have it for five years. Came back again about six months ago, about that. And I did what I did last time and you know took it from a six out of 10 or seven out of 10 pain down to a one out of 10 pretty quickly, but I just haven't been able to shake the one out of 10 pain, which is really just stopping me from being able to go forward with my one-arm pull-up training. I can still do everything, it hurts, but I can do it. But I know that that's not a good idea because it just gets worse again. 
And so this was a, I guess, a bit of a revelation for me to learn that that, that can actually make your golfers all better worse. I did not know that. And I feel it when I do that, so it's interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, so for any of our tribe that are watching that are dealing with golfer's elbow, on top of the exercises that you're already doing, try to not do that as much as you can. And use parallettes wherever you can. Coming back to training when you've had a week of doing not much at all, that's for sure. <laughs> I've been knocked about that last week, all the pain meds and just, you know, very little movement. So just taking it easy yesterday and today, hopefully I'll be able to start getting, getting back into it more next week. I'll try and go for a short run on Monday. I think I'll be able to do a little bit of a run and I'll try doing two my two workouts on Monday, but I'll do shorter versions of my workouts so that I'm rebuilding that habit of at least the timings of when I work out. And I'll do that for a week and then hopefully second week I'll be able to, in another week, I'll be able to be back training the way that I want to train again. Oh, I just forgot to film my second set of my tuck lever, but I did it. All right, team, that's it for me today. Yesterday and today, good couple of sessions to get me closer to doing full workouts again after my surgery. So yeah, I'll just do a recovery workout tomorrow and then I'll get back into maybe 50% volume next week on Monday. Oh, still out of breath. <clears throat> Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next workout. <clears throat>